Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm JS Method, or Coach JS, you guys may know me as, and today I got a little bit of a new video idea. We're going to be doing a new thing I'm going to call JS Rants. Now, JS Rants is going to be a new style of video where I take a topic and I just talk about it. It's going to be sort of like a podcast, pretty much. Um, basically, my goal is to have a little bit of an easier video to, to release. For you guys who've been watching for a little while, know I've been doing daily YouTube uploads and that kind of schedule can get super hectic so i kind of have three types of videos i have the highly scripted highly educational videos like coaching videos and then i have the full gameplay annie and trindamir videos um you know being one of the better annie and trindamir mid players in na um and then this is going to be the third type it's going to be a little bit easier it's going to give my editor a break and you know i know he needs it and he's been doing really really good work it gives me a little bit of a break because I don't have to spend so much time scripting and stuff. I kind of just get to sit here and talk about something I'm passionate about. And then it gives you guys a break because it's really hard to consume very intense coaching content all of the time. So this is a little bit more of just a chill, uh, you know, the goal of this video isn't to, you know, bring in lots of viewers or, or whatever. It's more just, you know, to hang out, to talk. Um, if you guys have any concepts that you guys would like to talk about, or if anybody would like to come on and talk to me about something, right? Whether, you know, you have some questions or if you're another creator and would, you know, think this is an interesting idea, I think that'd be awesome. Um, so drop in the comments what you think about this idea. I'm gonna call it JS Rants. This could be episode one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually play one of the games from my main account, uh, on the screen. So if you guys are watching, you guys will have something to watch. It'll just be a game from my main account. It'll probably be a Trinity or any game or you know, something I play on my main account. Um, that'd be just something to watch. And then I'll just kind of be talking. I'm going to be talking this way. Um, so today I want to talk about why we play league, some of the dangers involved in playing league, um, and why I actually appreciate inters and feeders and people who troll. I really do mean that. So the first thing is like, why do we play league? What are the different reasons people play league? Now, in my mind, there's a couple of different reasons. You have the for fun player. Now, this is the person, you know, typically they're pretty new to the game um, and they just kind of enjoy how the game feels. They enjoy the mechanics and they just play it because they like it, right? Something about it feels good to them. Um, that is a completely valid play way to play league. Um, Another thing we have is the social player. Now, the social player, they play with their friends, right? They don't really play by themselves. They just play to hang out. Again, I think League is fine for that. Those two things, I would say League is okay at those things. If you play League for that reason, it's, I don't think League is necessarily doing anything really good for you, but I don't think it's necessarily doing anything really bad for you either. Um, where the next two reasons why people play League definitely have a positive or negative impact. The next reason... I think people play league is, is kind of the competitive, serious player. Now, the advantage of playing competitively and seriously is you get to learn a lot of lessons through the competitive, competitive nature of league. You get to express your competitive nature, which if you're a competitive person um, and you're not doing something competitive, like that will just eat away at you. So it's a very good way to express competitiveness in a safe environment. Um, and you get to experience everything that League get, has to offer. League is built as an esport. It's built on top of being kind of this very competitive competition. Like, I know I keep saying the word over and over again, but it's, it's built to be a sport. It's built to be this thing where you beat other people and you kind of get to experience the whole, the whole mountain that is League if you're playing like that. Um, now, that's not to get confused with the Addict. Now, the addict is a very large chunk of league players. That's the type of person that uses league as an escape. That's the person that's, you know, playing League of Legends, not because they enjoy the game or not because they're finding fulfillment out of the competitiveness and not because they're using league as a tool like the competitive player is. The competitive player is using league as a tool. And this is why I play league. And I'll come back to this later. But I use league to learn things. I use league to learn about myself. I use league to express myself. I'm a very competitive person. Um, and especially like, you know, as I move, moved around a lot when I was younger and, you know, there were all these reasons where expressing my competitiveness was difficult and league gave me an avenue to do that. And 
then I got to climb through league. And so it was this really awesome thing for me. I have to express my competitiveness. And through that, through climbing the mountain that is the League of Legends ladder, I've learned so many lessons. I now have a saying um, that League taught me that I really, really love called Diamond in League, Diamond in Life. When I was trying to break through my first real plateau I hit, I hit my first real plateau in Platinum 4. And when I was trying to break through it, I was kind of giving it everything I had. I kept telling myself, you can do this. And if you can do this and you can hit diamond in this video game, you can hit diamond in everything else you do. And at the time, I was a... uh, I was like a semi, like I was a very competitive table tennis player. I was one of the better under 18 players in my state, um, under 18 years old, because I was in high school at the time. And I was like, well, if I can hit diamond in league, I can hit 2000 in that. And I can be one of the best juniors in the state. And then, you know, I moved to a new state now and I am among the top five of the players in the whole state. Right? So that's something that I have with me. And I was also applying to schools and I was applying to relatively competitive schools, University of Michigan. University of Minnesota is not that competitive, but there were schools that weren't like just, you know, super easy to get into. And I was like, well, if I can destroy league, I can destroy these other things as well. And it was true. I ended up hitting diamond in league and those other goals that I had, those other things I had saw immediate increases as well. My mental health saw an increase. My physical health saw positive results. And it's because Playing league competitively and using it as a tool gave me a framework to deal with problems. It gave me a framework to deal with things in front of me. It said, okay, um, league taught me you're going to hit walls. And then it taught me you can get through them. It taught me that sometimes bad things happen to you and you don't get to control that. Right? That's why I love inters. That's the whole title of this video. I love inters because of what they teach you. Inters teach you that you can play perfectly and still lose. You can do everything. You can put your heart into the game and you can still lose. You can put your heart into the day and still be negative on the day. You can be the best player in every lobby you're in for the next week and you can still be down LP. And that's something that is such an invaluable lesson because that happens in life, right? Sometimes when you're down, you get kicked when you're down and you have to be able to deal with that, right? You have to be able to get back up again. And that's what League taught me. I I proved that I can get back up when I get into it. And I proved that I can accomplish what I want to accomplish. Um, And I saw immediate positive impacts in other things in my life because, of course, when, you know, you're doing schoolwork, right? And I was trying to apply to all these schools. I was, you know, I had these really thick, like ACT study books. I was cranking through them and I was doing all these things. I would hit walls. I'd be like, I don't understand this concept or why can't I break through this score uh, on this test or why can't I do whatever? I would hit walls, but I'd be like, you know what? As long as I'm giving it my all and as long as I'm focusing and applying the things that I'm learning and I'm taking lots of notes and I'm applying this framework that I built, I will break through this wall. It's a matter of time. Right. Um, and then I ended up getting into all the schools I applied to. I, I only applied to like three. Um, but every single one I got into, um, I ended up being, you know, seeing some very, very good things in table tennis. I ended up getting a scholarship for league, actually, which was like super, super cool. And all of that is a result of the framework that league taught me. And inters and trollers are a part of that. They teach you such good emotional control and such good kind of emotional discipline. If you can kind of, because if you react poorly to enters, and I used to do this, I, I used to get entered and I'd be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I lost that game. I didn't deserve to lose that game. And it was true. I didn't deserve to lose the game because I outperformed my lane opponent and I did my job and I played well. But then I would go into the next game with that attitude, being a little baby, and I would int. And it's like, well, you did deserve to lose that game. And that was your fault. Yeah, the bad thing that happened to you at first was not your fault. But the kind of the reaction you had was entirely within your control. And that's something that you just messed up. That's something that you just did poorly. Um, and that's something that League taught me. Like, you may have gotten kicked this time, but keep getting stronger. 
and the kicks in, in, in low elo won't affect you as much. And the day that you're not getting kicked, you're going to see very, very positive things. Um, so inters have taught me a lot of things. Now, I haven't even mentioned the last reason people play League. Um, and it's a very negative way that people play. And it's something that I urge you guys to make sure you're not doing. The last reason people play League is they use it as, it, it's, it's an addiction. I'll call them the addicts. The addicts use League as an escape to avoid real world responsibility. They use it as, um, you know, they may not particularly enjoy the game and they're definitely not using it as a tool to learn about themselves and to express themselves. They're using it as, some, as something to fill the gap, like to fill the time and to fill the void that they experience in their life. And these are the people that are really, really toxic. These are the people that aren't learning life skills through the game. These are the people that are just, they're playing the game in a very toxic way and it manifests in kind of, it manifests in their outcome. They tend to get hard stuck. They tend to play lots of games and don't see any improvement and they don't learn transferable life skills from the video game, right? So the addicts are kind of like, and there are a lot of league addicts. Video game addiction is such a, damaging thing it is a real and damaging thing and there are you know there's lots of stories and stuff about it on the internet that are really touching because i definitely went through that right i definitely had a part of that especially back in the day with uh with mmos oh man that was i was notorious for just wasting months and months and months on a game i didn't even particularly enjoy i just like seeing numbers go up and i had nothing better to do and it's not even that i partic I, I didn't even like the game right and that's really, and I didn't learn anything. I wasn't using it as a tool. I wasn't using it as a way to express the traits within me, right? Something that, something powerful I learned in psychology is if your personality matrix is set up for you to be a certain way, you have to express that, right? If you're a creative person, you have to create or you will, it will, it will eat away at your soul, right? If you were a competitive person, you have to compete. Um, and that's something that, you know, when I, was, when I was a little kid or when I was in high school, I thought I could kind of force my personality to be whatever, but it's like, no, if you're a competitor, compete, right? And that's something that I try to, you know, show my clients. If, you, if your personality is built in a certain way and you're playing league as a tool and a way to express your competitive, competitiveness, then let's compete and let's get the most out of it. If you're playing it for fun, then let's commit to playing for fun and let's not compete and let's not get those two things misconstrued and understand your goals and understand what's going to happen. And yeah, that, that's it. Honestly, I wish people would reanalyze why they play the game, especially because a lot of people will convince themselves that they want to rank, but it's like, you don't actually want that rank because anybody listening right now could be diamond if they wanted to. Most of the people listening right now could be higher rank than I am, right? You could have my rank. You could be masters 100 LP, masters 200 LP, right? Whatever I'm at when I drop this video. You could be higher than that if you wanted to, but you don't want what it looks like, right? There's so many things I've done in league to push myself and tell myself that I can do it and, and prove to myself that I can accomplish my goals. It's ridiculous. and. These people don't want that. They want the shiny purple border. They want the good win rates. They want to smurf through Pislow, but they don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. before their classes and then before their work because it's the only time they'll be able to get games in, right? That's something I did in college. I, I, was, I had an insane course workload. I had an internship. I had a job as coaching at boot camp, and I was playing collegiate. I had all these responsibilities, and I still woke up at 5 a.m. and played games, right? They don't want to limit their games to, you know, three blocks or, or three games in a block and then stop playing after that. They don't want to do that. They don't want to review their games. They don't want to look things up. They don't want to take notes on every single game they play, right? I pulled this out in, in one of my last videos. Uh, let's see. They don't want to do this. They want the rank. They don't want what it looks like. They want the rank. They don't want the lifestyle. They don't want to compete. They don't want to compete. So it's like, oftentimes people trick themselves with the reason they play league. They're like, oh, I'm playing because I want to accomplish this. Do you really? Do you really? Because you can. I promise you. 
You can get what you want to get out of this game. You can get to the rank you want to get to. You can. Do you want what it looks like? Do you have what it takes? So oftentimes people who play in negative ways or people who you know, have lots of excuses or whatever, I, I want to challenge why you play the game. You may say, I want to get to this rank or whatever, but do you really? Do you actually enjoy the game? Or are you just playing because there's nothing else to do? Do you actually want to use League as a tool to learn these super cool lessons that it can teach you and to give you kind of this framework to approach things and to give you a system to solve problems? Or do you not want to do that, right? Because some people don't and there's, there's definitely better things you can be doing with your time if you're not using it in a healthy way, right? Like there, you know, I, I often compare League to climbing a mountain, but it's a virtual mountain, right? A virtual mountain, there are definitely more important things than a virtual mountain. Um, so unless it's actively helping you and it actively fits not only with your personality matrix, but with your goals, not only in the game, but in life, then quit playing the game. So many people, I think, would be better off if they quit the game. Our community would be better if the addicts quit the game. Um, and then our competitors would get more fulfilled if more of the people that are around were competitors as well. So really, why do you play the game? Is it helping you? Is it a positive force? Are you using it to learn things? Um, so really ask yourself why you play the game. I love inters because they teach me. They teach me how to deal with myself. This game is me versus me. I'm learning how to conquer myself and my own, you know, mental traps and my own negative tendencies and my own pitfalls through the things that people throw at me in the video game. So really ask yourself, why do you play League? This was the first episode of JS Rants. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay playing on the background. If you have any ideas that you guys would like to hear me talk about, drop them in the comments. It's literally just me ranting. So whatever idea, I think it's a good break for uploads. I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.